in the spring, when buds first pop, grass is not growing yet, the soil is a very cool, sleepy place. Um, the, the root system of the tree is the permanent root system. And the mycorrhizal spores, the, the fragments of hyphae are there, but the organism itself is, is kind of dormant, just as is the root system. And all this bud growth up top, we're going to learn, is being driven by nutrients that were stored the previous fall. So down here you deal with pine voles. Do you also deal with metal voles? I, I don't know who's the expert on them, but we certainly have voles that do a lot of damage. Okay, so one of the things voles do, particularly the meadow vole, particularly when there's some snow cover, is they will girdle the bark of the tree. And they're eating that cambium because it's filled with nutrients. And basically when the snow melts further north, maybe here sometimes, um, and you see that the tree has been girdled, you're instantly going to think someone, the voles have disconnected it from the root system. That tree's dead but you don't get around to cutting it. And you see the leaves pop and get full, and you see flowers bloom. And at that point, you're thinking, I don't know why me, but somehow I've been selected for immaculate conception and, <laughs> and my tree is going to live. And then by the middle of June, all that growth shrivels up and the tree is obviously dead. Well, that's all took place because the nutrients were already up in the tree, stored in the cambium cells and in the buds and the twigs. And we're going to get really tuned into that. Go a little bit further. We're coming into bloom. The grass is starting to get six, eight inches high. And you'll start to see new growth on the tree in terms of shoots elongating. And while things are happening up top, down below, it's still a sleepy place. The root system is still basically dormant, just starting to stir. You get to the other side of bloom, and fruit has set and is beginning to size. And if you pay attention during the next two to four weeks, those shoots that were elongating early on, maybe got to be four, six inches long, have a pause. They stop growing. And when things stop up top, that means something's going on down below. And this is when the spring feeder root flush is taking place. Now a feeder root on a fruit tree is on the order of one to two inches long. And the spring feeder root flush is all about gathering nutrients to grow this year's crop of fruit and also to form flower cells for next year's crop of fruit. So two very important happenings in terms of, of goals in the orchard. And I'm going to talk about biological mowing and how it ties to that point in time. And it's all about doing things for the feeder roots. That spring feeder root flush lasts maybe two to four weeks and it's almost like autumn takes place underneath the ground. Those roots slough off. Maybe 10% of them will add to the permanent root system of the tree, but for the most part, they're ephemeral. They, they last a very short period, do their job, and then move on. And that's, that's that time when mycorrhizae are expanding, and then there's going to be a drawback. Mm -hmm.